Next, we're going to make this nut, which is going to be used to help hold these two pieces in place, along with the, the bolt that we're going to make later. So for this, we're going to use a special add-on. So we're going to go to File, User Preferences, go to Add-ons, left-click on the search box, type in Bolt, and then enable the Bolt Factory add-on by left-clicking here. There should be a check mark here. Then you can click this X to close this, select this object, press H, then select this object and press H. Then go to Add Mesh Bolt. And now we can see a preview of what this is going to look like. We want to change the model from Bolt to Nut. And we can leave everything at default just to keep things simple. So this should be a good starting point. Now we're going to Tab into Edit Mode. And we can get rid of some of these edge loops. We can Alt right click, press delete, and choose dissolve edges. We're also going to Alt right click. And actually to make this easier, we're going to use an array instead so we don't have to delete all these individually. We can just delete one and it will be changed on all these faces. But first we actually want to get rid of all these inner screw details here. So we're going to press 7 and then we're going to press Z for wireframe. Right click to select the vertex, B to box select. Select all these inner vertices, press delete and choose vertices. So now that's gone. And what we want to do is just Alt right click, Alt and Shift right click, and we want to get all these here. And we'll do the same over here, Alt and Shift right click until we have all these here. So you want this entire edge loop as well as this entire edge loop then we can do H to hide, right click to select a vertex here, control L and delete and choose vertices, Alt H to unhide this. Now we're going to go to add and we're going to add modifier, array, change the count to 6, turn off the relative option, turn on the object option, turn on merge and first and last. Now we're going to press tab, we're going to create an empty so that we can rotate this. So scroll down to the bottom, choose empty. Then we're going to do R, Z, and then 60 to rotate 60 degrees around the Z axis. Select this object again, select this eyedropper, and choose the empty by left clicking it. Now you see we have our bolt back. Select the empty and press H to hide it. Then select the bolt and tab into edit mode. Now we can alt right click, delete, and choose dissolve edges. Alt right click, delete, and dissolve edges. We didn't need these extra edges and they're just going to get in the way of our shading. It's going to mess up the shading. So deleting them now is just going to help us later. Another thing you're going to notice about the curvature here is this one is curved upward slightly and this one's also curved upward. In the nut that we're given, this is curved downward and this one's curved upward. So this one needs to be changed from a downward direction to an upward direction. To do that, we're going to Alt right click. We're going to do S, Z, and then negative 1 and press Enter. Then we're going to bring this up on the Z axis and now you can see we have an upward curve. We're going to Alt right click on this bottom part. We're going to change this to 3D cursor. Make sure your cursor's in the center by doing Shift S, cursor to center. Then do S, Shift and Z and bring this out some. We can also press Tab, go to Tools and turn on Smooth Shading. It won't look the best yet, but we will work on this. Back into Edit Mode by pressing Tab. E to Extrude, right click to Cancel, bring this down slightly to get the depth right here. Then we're going to Alt right click on this. We're going to do S, Shift, and Z, and bring this in slightly. You can even bring it up slightly if you think you need to. To reduce how far up this goes, to make it less of a curve, we can do Alt right click and change this to median point, and then do S, Z to scale it on the Z axis. And you'll notice now we're straightening it out, but we're not completely straightening it out. So just scale it down some until you have somewhat of a curve, but significantly less than it was before. 
Similarly, we're going to do the same here. We're going to alt right click S and then Z and scale this down slightly, but not as much as this one. This bottom one has more of a curve, but still less than the original curve. Now we're going to alt right click, change this back to 3D cursor, E to extrude, right click to cancel, S, shift and Z, scale this in slightly again. And then we're going to E to extrude, right click to cancel, bring this down on the Z axis, hold control, snap it here. And now we can alt and shift, right click, shift and Q to fill in this area with bridge edge loops. If you don't have your hotkey, go to mesh, edges, and bridge edge loops, which is right here. All that's left to do at this point is to correct some of the shading. You can see we have shading problems. And another thing to do is to make this a bit taller. So we'll make it taller first. We're going to press 1 to go into front view, Z for wireframe. Select the vertex up here, B to box select. Get the rest of them and bring them up. I'm also going to change this back to median point. To correct the shading here, we're going to switch to face select and alt right click I and then B and do a small inset do the same on the bottom alt right click I then B do a small inset on the top here we can do something similar we can just do control R left click and bring this in that way we only get an edge on this top side and not on this bottom side as well. And it starts to look a bit nicer here. One thing we're going to want is we're going to want some nice crease lines going across the top here as well as here and eventually here but we'll worry about this a bit later. We're focusing on these for right now so we're going to go back to our model and we can alt right click and then alt and shift right click and continue alt and shift right clicking we're actually going to press tab because we won't be able to do this with this modifier here so we're going to press tab and apply this modifier then we're going to press tab again and we have all the correct edges selected so we're going to do control and B and do a bevel here so something like that should be fine. That's looking okay. If you want to, you can add in some supporting edge loops. So you can do control R, left click, then press E. Make sure the red dots on the bottom and bring this down. That'll add that little crease line at the bottom. And you can do the same at the top. Control R, press E, press F to make sure the dots at the top. Bring this up and then now we have this again if you want to make your bolt taller you can do the same process of selecting these going to front view switching to vertex select Z for wireframe B to box select and bring these up and that will help you adjust the height another thing we can do is press A twice S shift and Z to exclude the Z axis and we can scale this back so that you have a bolt similar to this and then again you can adjust these top vertices up and down by selecting one B to box select get the rest and bring this up or down according to what you feel is necessary so this is the basics of this bolt it's looking good so we can save it just go to file and save thank you to our awesome patreon supporters if you'd like to become a patreon supporter yourself head on over to patreon.com Stephen Brooks thank you for your support